in a certain movie, reach in a certain place, it will kill him. But it's too late. Because the damage already done. You understand? What I say now? When you hear Chris Rock's story, and this is what I want the artist them we want to get big, pay attention to. See? Chris said, I know him right the joke. All the years we are watch our show, make could be honest and realistic. All the years we are watch our show, and them have comedian. We think say the comedian just naturally make up some joke. Wrong, I'm right. Somebody tell me say I'm here. All we used to see co um, comedian, I do them thing. We used to always think say. Them just up their crap joke off of people, let me them see. No, we understand, say, all the joke them write. So that means to them write the script for this Will and Jada, you know. For create animosity between black people and black people, you know. Through all of this, you know, you don't got to pay attention to the name them, Will, Jada, Chris. But you don't pay attention to the skin color and the negative effect we to have for them say, yes, we put black people up here so, and black people don't know if they angle it. And that's right. Remember, them used to live out there, black people out there, Aska, you know. Remember, black people that feel rebel. But the Aska, that's why some star, they have some zeal and have something about themselves. Bonita Platinum, big up. That's why some star if you can say no. Because Chris, this is what we blame you for now. You see certain script and you see certain things, if you know, so you tell them, say, yo, I don't want to do that, you know. I don't want to do that. Because the white man, them, the puppet master, them up at the top, have your style, your own black brother, them. So if them, are, if them even a script joke, what do you think about music? And when them get a songwriter and them get a record deal, what do you think about that? That worse. Remember, this is just hosting you, you know? And the Oscars, you know? And then make sure them put Will and Jada where them then near. You can see. And when the joker crack, them put the camera upon them. They might allow we to destroy ourselves, you know? A self destruction, they might program what we do, you know? That I'm a demo, the real enemy, you know? That are the bigger picture out of all of this. Now you still have to blame Will. Because Will, purpose of why he go slap the man, a fuckery. Will good get pay, Jada get pay, and Chris Rock get pay. A we. Alone go to the hotel like the idiot. I buy into the Akia. Every one of them go to get paid and get a big fat check. And we out like we are idiot. A quarrel who right for who wrong. See him like a politician do we? The two of them are work for the same master. One say labor right, one say PNP, and we kill each other. And them not kill each other. Notice Chris Rock now press no charge. Notice Will Smith apologize. Quick, quick. So the argument done. Chris now press no charge. Will now, will now continue the fight. Will apologize in a less than 24 hours. And Chris Rock now press no charge. Why you would want press charge? A man boxing in your face and you know, do nothing, you know, defend yourself. And you know the biggest lawsuit that Will Smith could even argue the lawsuit because you know, fight back, not at all. And you can't ever cross the case because there's nothing to cross. And you don't want personal charge. You don't want to sue him, you don't want to do nothing, you're just cool with that. When you remember when Kanye West and Beyonce, the man, when next girl named Taylor Swift, them plan that disrespect and the whole of it. Oh God, Kanye is a piece of shit. Wait, 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 can you get a big check? 
Beyonce get a big check and Taylor Swift get a big career. I'll know she rich. So we have to understand so them a play with right you. Them a play with right you. May I go be honest. If I up on a big stage there, and me a host and me is a comedian, we can't crack any kind of joke more and crack. And I crack that joke there. And when I start them come box me. I mean I not mean, stab out him here or, or, or fuck him up. Or we fight. May I go sue you. I go sue you. I go sue you. Because I have to live with a level of um, embarrassment and a level of degrading and a level of memes and walking a mall and everywhere. A big disrespect. So, I have to sue you. It doesn't have to be a diss me, but you pay dearly. 140 or 150 million for one box. Then I know they're going to shoot and them shoot me and my dead arm and flying kick me. All right, you box me then. 50 million more for that box the way you box me. But you know what, nothing? You just know what, nothing? You know what, fight him back. You know what, box him. You know what, do nothing. You're not angry, none at all. You just, okay, it's okay. I don't want the person to charge. Leave Will alone. And we'll just apologize so and Jada still not say nothing. Jada still eat Will like poison. No make no sense. No make no sense. Will Smith, we see you, it don't make no sense. Chris Rock, it don't make no sense. Remember saying no. Chris Rock talk for a living in the stand up comedy, in the hosting, in the acting, him have to talk, and you box him in his mouth. You jeopardize the whole time work, him can't work, him can't ball, so him jaw twist and him, him have speech impairment and him have bag of something. Him can't say a bag of things. And him truth you not even press charge, not even want to go to court, not at all. Based on a joke where him never planned. So the Oscars plan a joke and make you get. Box. Zin, and you now sue the Oscars now, will now nobody. You just cool with it? Nah, man, something alright. Something alright. Will Smith box and walk off the stage and they even look back if he run, come fight him. Him they even flinch and, and I set up for defense. Him they even box and say, nigga, what, what you doing? Nothing. And just box and walk right back up. Cause him know you're not gonna do nothing. Him know you're not gonna do nothing. Cause him, him brain already conditioned say so you're not gonna do nothing. Out of natural reflex, listening up. Let's look at natural reflex from both sides. Will box you and you not even lift up your hand to guard yourself. Remember, you know, you don't think he might go box you. You don't know he might go box you. He box you. Out of reaction, you're supposed to ease off and try to protect yourself. That never happened. See? Will Smith on the other hand, we could talk about reaction. Will Smith box in your face. You are a human being. The first thing you do when you box somebody, I look for what they're going to do. What is going to be your defense? Because even if you box him, you're supposed to say, Yo, dog, where are you, dog? Where you box me for my youth? Even that. A man box him and he just stand up like a statue and say, Wow, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. That the man and the behind him see him way or in front of him not do nothing, him never lift up him and him never hold him face. Are we dumb? Like people in this day and age, we know we don't look, we don't realize. We don't realize your, your, your natural reaction. Now I'm gonna make you react like a will and Chris Rock. Natural reaction to Jada would act. 
or even get up out of her seat like she'll make an attempt to see what really is going on. She don't move. She just sitting in her seat, so. And we'll go back and sit down right beside her. And she just calm, so like a lamb, look on him, look on the stage. It now add up. It now add up. We as a spectator, them, if you just roll up the story and throw it in a rubbish pan and say, God suck or no matter. Do you understand? Why, even if it's staged, why do not think Chris or Will Smith them should have do it? It's because a dirt them a throw up on black people being at the Oscars. When you remember, people, I tell you, so I don't have short memory sometimes, you know. Zin, in the past, remember, them never again a black people in the Oscar. Big rebellion they are going. Big riot of for going over Oscar. Remember, I said, they don't cancel Oscars. No, what them do, they might give black people Oscars, but they might show you, so this is why we never want black people in our program because on our crosses. So sometimes when you take certain money because of individual income, you mash up the income for the entire race. You understand what I said? That's why I tell some people, say, sometimes the record label come with you with certain things. Walk away. Protect the industry. Protect the black race. Can't just greedy for your own pocket. Because when you're greedy for your own pocket, and your pocket fat. And the whole industry hungry, your money got done, see me. You are gonna lose the whole of the money. And you end up back to zero, but you, you go back to zero killing the whole thing. It better you just come to one step left the money than keep the industry running. So you can come back and regain wealth. Just like a Dave Chappelle go away for one ten years and come back and get more. Them are find 50 million himself now, and now I take it. Boom, Africa. Come back 10 years time. Boom. First episode. 150 million. Triple quadruple the money. Come on, yo. Start of sense, man. Will Smith and, and Chris Rock should have taken the money there for this player. The stupid act black versus black. On the white man platform, so the white man can now point finger and say, Yes, that's why we never want to know when we ask her. And that's why we never go to not ask her. Stupid. Dumb. No, no sense. We no 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 vision. Will Smith, Chris Rock, we no no vision. Should have load of money there. Load of money there and call it a day. Michael, that Mikey, ninety-four. Trust me. We are talking about Jada Pinkett Smith. You see that other person there? Then they on a mission. Remember what me say? Me said one month and a half ago. You actually think so them just are here? No, them not just are here. Them just family to them are family for forward. Remember say the people them on the internet and know that person you know. Them just know the little artists we are going. Who are manager and who they run and I really know her. Me, footer hype O'Neill Thomas, know her inside out. I repeat myself. She know, and me know, so she can this me no time. Zin? But I'm a programmer to do that because I'm planning to drop something. Now. Yeah, but I'm not time for that. Me know, say, and she know, say, she can this me, and me know her inside out. Okay? So I'm going to leave it there. So anyway, Will Smith shouldn't do that. Chris Rock shouldn't do it. Uno take money and a degree, disgrace all black actors from the platform designated. We want to fight for black actors get recognition. No realize what I do? Who no realize what I do? Who no realize what I do? Who do not realize what I do?
going to hurt black people with a display of foolishness then. After an award for recognition, pan the show. And them go no recognition and make them see them and pay on for destroy the platform where they have to end up going. See, so they're not smart. Some people say they're rich and they're weak, but they're not weak. When they're stupid, the same people them want to rebel against the going to recognition. Go to the recognition now. But then, pay on for disrespect on yourself on the same platform. So now they have an alibi and a reason to say um on enough for the panel show and enough to get now nana sense. Anyway, moving on. Cassava peace. Huh. Cassava peace. Cassava peace. Cassava peace. Cassava peace. Cassava peace. What do I do? What are you going on with? You know, pro down yourself? Tell me the truth. People, no found out. No, see me post. The lady will drop out. See? So, I'm going to go look at a slice of history. Hold on. The lady where you see me post from Cassava Peace named Lana. She is 60 year old. Then, Lana play an important role in the community in the upbringing and evolving of entertainers in Cassava Peace. Then, tell about my little part of the history. You know. Me as a youth in the community, because I go in everybody yard. I'm a good youth. Um, I was one of the beloved kids in the community. Bright boy, you know. I was a good in a school. My mother had chip out. Me live by rules and discipline and basic. My mother in a ramp. My mother and my father famous. My father selector from back in the days. My mother eagle. My mother had Act like fire. My mother beat girl, chop up girl. You have a couple times my mother get beat up and get stabbed and them something too. So we come out of a family where well known in a cassava piece. 90% of my family them are labor right. Mel, Jai, Peggy. You know, all of them are labor right. My granny a big big labor right. And my grandfather a big big PNP from, from Painland. Back a wall. You know the thing go. Shanty town, you see me? My grandfather was a general, they were to fight the rebellion and them man they learned to build buckle boom and them something there and them man they are real shanty town warriors, you see me? Them call him narrow seeds. If you ask none of, none of the ancient people them from Painland, where they build inside or over the next side, over Jigsy them side. Because we have a house over Jigsy them side and the next set of family them live over building side. Miss Esther and two of them and them people, Abba Shark and them people, you see? So, enough people don't know the history of everything. So, my grandfather had a big PNP, Zin, and then my grandmother a big labor right. <laughs> they just understood how the thing was, Zin. Anyway, I live at Cassava Peace, up on a place named Lolly Corner, we have some girl in Lolly Crew, they live right opposite my yard, Zin. So they some a band. Anyway, my mother and my father end up mash up 
when we reach in me like 10, 11 or 9, 10 my mother lived on my granny where down the road right at the gully there so Z near Cuba and Canada. I lived there so for a while then my grandfather stay a friend by one little place over Gala View we go live over Gala View you now this is me I know Jimmy aka Black Road said so don't know yeah, the, them elder there. We have Radigan from Sunrise Crew. Jimmy, I'm uncle. So we are no Radigan them from where are youth. When they dropped up bends them forward and them something there. We dead there. When them they come with plastic pan seat and up there so first. We all like ZX6 bike them and everything. We we live that. We know Radigan like oh, we can reason with anybody. That's so we and them and they sit down and reason. Because Jimmy and my uncle and Jimmy are top man, Jimmy a banger and a punk. You see what I say? So, we know, we are no star and great people from a long time. So, Lana now live at Glen Drive. Lana have a thing named Lana Bash. She keeps stage show, she keep drink up. Anything we have to do with music, she involved. All I DJ them from the Predator, them, the Algebra, the Raga B, the, the Turbulence, the Movado, the Javinci. Everybody know about Lana Bash. You understand what I say? All I big selector them play up there already. Ricky Chopper, um, Liquor Wicked, Freddy, Adonai, Scorpion, Dread, everybody. Wiki Waki, everybody. Lana is an entertainment capital. Zeal? I want to go on with my phone. So, how am I not seeing it? So, we come so boom now. And me as a youth, get to love the sound thing. First, the soul me start chat on our son named Askel. Askel 45. We're up the road from my yard when I live at Gellaview. You see me? So I used to go to Bam now and up at Askel chat on his soul. I didn't know nothing about selecting him, I just a chat. And then you have Liquor Prince, which is Wani. When we used to see Buju, Flower Gun, Lizard, them, the whole of them used to come DJ on Super Prince son. One right in front of Rusty yard this uh, to who oh, know. So uh, from this uh, to this uh, me I travel. From my yard to upper Gargan yard this uh, to upper one. And then you'd have just stone way up at the top of the bridge when you got Gala Park this uh, Right for going to governor to just stone, you'd have a little speaker box thing. We never to follow up selecting up this. When we start playing Twilight Sun now, no sun, I don't know hear me. You don't hear me? Tell me if you don't hear me. You want to text and tell me if you don't hear me. My youth, I hear a phone, the people in my ear, my dog. So me start. Frequent run a Glen Drive now because Twilight, the owner of them, one named Ozzy and one named Roddy, two of them live at Glen Drive. So we used to have to go around a Glen Drive now, go pick up the record box or help pack on the sun on the car. Because the little sun we are play, it no need a truck. We just have a car, put it on the car, should it go anywhere we are going to have a piece, string it up, lock down the place. Me and a youth named Blacks used to play the song. So we end up. Me and Squidly them used to go to school together and things. So we know each other. Squidly mother named Lana. Zin. Lana have the shop. Run a Glen Drive. So we as youth, I always go by with a little bun and cheese, with a little bun and butter. With a little... You understand? Lana end up have a rating to see me. Lana we gone up, gone to sleep, catch a little rest, and me I run the shop. And me I sell the bun and cheese them set. Me rate it. Me rate it in my community. Tall from my nana name.
Because I was a little star boy in that community. You understand what I mean? People take on to my spirit and them things. So Lana now that have me I run the shop. You see me? So I me I run the shop. Everybody knows say foot I run the shop when Lana is there. Lana, I keep Lana Bosch. Zin. Lana have a link with a sound that come from foreign. We as you know here say new sound has string up around a Lana a play. Me left Gala View you now be it early. Them time they may have part of that thing named Blocks, Quick Cook. What Gargan's son name again, man? I remember what Gargan's son name. Then we have Bulla, Cow, Guy Co. Couple of we well apart. So me come to Bam now, remember? I me a leading selector in that place. I me and Quick Cook used to lock down the whole place. So, we go to Bam now. I say we are going around there from early because we want to see this new sound there from foreign. When we reach around them, we hear the sound a bit. Remember, our sound on glove. Two little boxes. You know. One little bass box and one little top end box with a couple of tweets and it. See? So, we not really used to big giant sound a play with, with whole heap of delay and reverb and 18 inch scoop and them things there. So, when we go around there, we see the sound. I say, Boom, but so on a kick, yo, like me to an idiot. I said, No, I have to play that song tonight. I have to play that song tonight. Go so boom, I run in. I remember a Lana shop there. Roddy live right in front of Lana shop. I go so boom, I go for some record. I take out some record out of the house. Because the thing about it, you know, Roddy lock up him house. But it, the padlock out the door. And we learn how to pick the padlock with bully beef key. So when Roddy, when Roddy drink him room and I sleep him, now nah, wake. So regular we have some dance to go. And we can't tell Roddy so we have to take the record them. We have to just pull the door. When he must sleep, take out the record box, lock back the padlock. Go play the music, come in before Roddy wake. Put him back the record box. So we take out the record box and go out the road. But me now, me afraid. If you go to the sound man, them car, this big sound here. This big sound here from foreign now. Right there, you know? And then I go to Lana and Lana said, Ali Rice see this sound, you know? Ali Rice see this sound, him just bring it from foreign, must be Canada, one of them places. Eh? But I don't know Ali Rice see this them time, I know half him, but I don't know him. So I'm afraid to go talk to him. You see me? And then. She said, I want to go talk to him, man. Go talk to him, and him and the man, the part, the man, the name Volcano. And him manage his son. So I say, quick cook, you are gone. I chat to them and beg them to play for his son, you know. See? Him? Quick cook, they didn't no want to go. All the while, we're not going to meet them. Them, them, them want to go talk first. I know in a life it happened. And me, them want to go talk first. So I go to boom, and I say, all right. I have to play that song tonight. I have to share that place tonight. Because big song in that place. Remember, everybody come out. Them times when song drop, people are look for song. Remember, me and I put on my little cheap white t shirt. I'm like, what me have as my best clothes we have? We're out. I go to a boom and I go to a volcano. I say, volcano. Um, you know, Alana tell me, say, you manage your song. And, you know, we are, we are saying, well, are, are we are the song really. Run boy, you're still in a boat, you know? We are begging you, look at even a little 10 or 15 minutes, you know? And the man said, What? What do you mean, man? What do you mean? That I mean, never know what I say. Them I look silly for the song. But I just, my persistence of wanting to represent, because of my era, my ground, this. So, I'll do a big song, I mean, I know none of them selector, and I want to prove, so I'm my tone. You see me? So I go to a boom and them say, alright. We don't go play a half hour. So remember, the crew where we have, and me and Quick Cook are the talker. Blacks are the mixer. Who <laughs> my youth name a Gargan boy name man? Gargan boy used to film record for, for chip in and chip out the bass. So anywhere we go and play, 
him ask for his bass button and I'm showing him the bass button. That's all him do for the whole night. Press the button, chip in the bass, chip out by the bass. Me chat on some song, quick cook chat. Yo, yeah, the live I got done. Jan was done. Yo, yeah, why live always at this? So we've got to end up the two live now. People may have come back when it's done. See? So we just join back the live same time. Because we have to talk about this thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so when the live does...